Give us the latest yes. then, because this, this story continues to develop. Well, good morning, Anna and Guy. According to two people familiar with the matter, as you mentioned, the Department of Justice is launching a criminal investigation into whether or not Volkswagen systematically tried to deceive regulators. Now, Bloomberg News was the first to report this. Others have now, other news organizations have now matched this. Late last night in New York, Michael Horn, he's the head of Volkswagen, Volks, uh, Volkswagen North American Operations, he gave a statement where he seemed to indicate just the gravity of the situation for Volkswagen. Have a listen. And lastly, he stated that this matter, and this is, I think, um, common sense, now is the first priority for him personally and for the entire board of management. So let's be clear about this. Our company was dishonest with the EPA, and the California Air Resources Board, and with all of you. And in my German words, we have totally screwed up. Just run through all the known investigations that are percolating out there, guys. In the U.S. Congress, both the House Energy Committee and a subcommittee on investigations, so two separate committees, have said that in the coming weeks, they will be looking, for, uh, looking into this potentially holding hearings. What's interesting about that is you'll have very public airing of Volkswagen's laundry. Then here in Germany, the Environment Ministry, they have said they are concerned they may be investigating. Similarly, Baffin, the financial regulator here in Germany, also uh, talking about their concerns. The European Commission, while they haven't formally launched investigations, says they're taking these allegations seriously. There are also reports out of Korea that in Korea they're also potentially looking into any irregularities in the testing modes. Now, when you take a look at the diesel share, this really is primarily, when you look at market share, a Volkswagen problem in the States because they have dominated the diesel technology there. You look at diesel sales in the States, 56% is sold by either Audi or Volkswagen. Then 19% you have Fiat. Then Daimler and BMW, the other brands, they're all sort of milling around at about 10%. Now the EPA uh, is testing other diesel models out there on the open road. One quick note on this, guys. The, co the organization, the sort of co joint collaboration between a European environmental group and West Virginia University, they tested the BMW X5. They said that passed regulators, the diesel version of the BMW X5. Now, Volkswagen has known about this problem since July 8th. That's when Vol they were first informed by the EPA that something wasn't making sense with their emissions tests. For a long time, Volkswagen argued that there were simple technical defaults, technical defects. They said they didn't really have a problem. It wasn't only until the EPA said that it wouldn't give a normal pro forma clearance for the 2016 models that Volkswagen admitted that they had been do using this so-called defeat device. That's what snowballed everything. Guys, one final note on this criminal prosecution, uh, this criminal investigation, excuse me. It's so serious because if criminal liability is found, that will open up Volkswagen to all kinds of civil litigation. There's already a class action talk of a class action suit out in California where Volkswagen has sold a lot of vehicles. Guys? I think it's going to be really interesting to see whether or not actually European testing is redone because they sell a lot of diesels over here. And I think that's going to be a fascinating yeah. aspect to all of this once the Europeans get going. Look, we've got this board meeting coming up. Vince Corn has already had a pretty turbulent 12 months. He saw off the chairman. Is he going to be able to see off this scandal and keep his job? I guess is a question most people will be asking yeah. at this point. Well, what we know is that the Premier of Lower Saxony has expressed, uh, the Premier has expressed his concern, so that's one side of the story. We do have the Supervisory Board meeting on Wednesday. You know, when I talked to Vinterkorn last week and I sort of asked him about his contract uh, extension, is everything in the past now, he said, oh, no, no, no. On Friday, meaning this Friday, is when our, my contract is actually extended. Now, that was sort of a formality. That's what we thought at the time. It turns out that we may have an interesting vote on just what the board decides to do with Vinterkorn. The one thing to remember about Vinterkorn, he's a cars guy. Before he had his current role up to 2007, he was in charge of development. He's a cars guy. He is a details guy. It's going to be interesting to see just how and what he knew about this entire program. And that may be a question that the board will be asking on Wednesday. Guys.